This ascension process is speeding along. In fact, it feels like it is speeding up. Have you experienced a feeling of time accelerating? I have. Feels like the days are moving faster and faster. If you've experienced that, definitely drop it in the comment section for me. I love to hear your take on that. But that's a result of vibration, right? As we rise in frequency in the planet and the universe, the solar system, the universe rises in frequency, energy starts moving faster. And we have memories of a denser universe or a denser reality. And the difference between those memories and the energetic flow now, which is much faster, makes it perceived to us. We perceive time moving at a faster clip. So reality is in fact speeding up and it's because you are speeding up. Your atoms, your molecules within your body are starting to vibrate at a faster pace as you expand and you ground more of your higher self and anchor it into the planet, you continue to move faster and faster. This is a universe of motion and the faster and faster you start to vibrate as your frequency rises, the faster you can anchor in and ground more of your higher self. So it seems from the human perspective like time is speeding up. That is a natural phenomenon. So if you're experiencing that, that is a good sign that your frequency is increasing. So what do we want to do to assist in that process? Well, we don't want to certainly feel bad about it, right? We don't want to go in and try to tie ourselves to that old denser identity, that denser way of being, where time maybe you know, moved a little bit more slowly. What we want to do is embrace these changes because on the heel of these changes brings forward a new earth and a new reality where your guides can be more present, more interactive with you on a day-to-day -day basis. And your ET guides could come in closer and interact with you on a day-to-day -day basis. You see, that energy that resides in a higher dimensional field can only manifest here as we start to vibrate up into that field, right? So it's not like they're coming down here. We are rising up to meet them. So everything seems like it's starting to move faster. And guess what? As things move faster, more heat's generated. It's physics right? The planet's going to start to change in its temperature. Everything's going to warm because the molecules, the atoms are starting to vibrate faster as a result of the light entering. And all of that dense, slow-moving energy is being alchemized, being transmuted into higher frequency uh, energy. So everything is advancing. That is part of the ascension process. All of the light that you're receiving, the light that is you, your divine presence is moving at a very fast clip. As it comes into this universe through the central sun, through our sun, it slows down and it slows down and it enters your body so that it can be integrated, right? So we take that light, we integrate that light and in that process, the body starts to rise in frequency and we get to start to experience higher dimensional fields. It's a very simple process, easy to understand when you can look at it from that perspective. A lot of times we get held up or we get stuck in comparing what was to what is. When you are attached to the what was, you are holding yourself down, being small and being more dense than your path is, which is to illuminate and to lighten and to rise in frequency. So let go of how things were so that you can experience how things are and how things are going to come. It's how we connect with our gifts. It's how we start to turn on all of our gifts. That's how we start to be able to connect with our guides and communicate with our guides. It's time to let go of the old, the familiar, the known, where it was so dense, it was like sludging through concrete, right? Or dense sand, even though it didn't feel like it at the time, right? Because that's what was familiar. That's what was known. Now you know differently. So let's not go back to the old way. Let's embrace where we're at now. Let's embrace the new. Let's be excited and allow what is coming forward as we continue to move through this year. We're going to move through the equinox, the solstice, we're going to go to Lionsgate. It's going to be a completely magical year. The energy is fully supported for huge leaps in growth, huge up levelings. But we need as a collective to be able to allow that energy to move through us 
so that we can release the old that's been anchoring us to a lower timeline. So be open for whatever comes up. You're going to be experiencing a lot of dense emotional releases. And that is okay. That is part of the process. As that energy starts to move faster, it frees up. You feel or experience those emotional states. That's part of the process. It's important to not attach to those emotional states. Don't create a story around those emotional states. Allow that energy to simply move through you. We are here to allow energy to move. Again, this is a universe of motion. When we try to keep things the same, when we try to keep things as they are, we are not operating as though this is a universe of motion. We are trying to stay stagnant. We're trying to stay stuck to a familiar past. And if we stay stuck to a familiar past, we will have an expected or familiar future. If your life right now is not ideal for you, that is because you are holding on to a past that was not ideal. And that is creating a present and a future that is in alignment with that past. In other words, you're anchoring yourself to a lower frequency timeline. Okay, allow yourself to feel all of that dense energy as your higher self comes in and does its job and shakes it all loose and you focus into your body using breath work and meditation and grounding to further deepen the connection with your body, space is created and everything that's been taking up that space, that stuck energy starts to release and all the emotional charge that it was within that stuck energy comes up to be felt. It's going to happen. Allow it. No, that is a huge sign of growth. If you're just getting started on this process and you're becoming aware of what's happening with you, expect to go through periods of the dark night of the soul. In fact, watch this video and that'll help guide you through so that you know how to better handle those types of experiences. Okay. So everything that's happening is for our benefit. It's all been laid out for us to experience. It's just all part of the process. Just as the earth went through a dissension, it's now going through an ascension. Okay. It's reversing and it's rising back up into the light. And as a result, everything that is of that light, that's been locked out from the planetary reality, from our collective reality, because the frequency was too low, is going to start to come into view. Again, the magic, your gifts, your abilities. All you have to do is breathe. Slow it down occasionally. Remember who you are. A multidimensional, limitless being. Connect with your heart space and alchemize all that energy, that dense energy, into love. If you need a guided meditation to help to activate your heart space, your heart chakra, drop a comment in the comment section. Send me a heart, a green heart, or simply comment meditation, and I'll send you the link for the guided meditation. If this video resonated, watch this one next. Thank you so much.